better way to top off a day at the museum than with a bite at the museum? John Blackstone is our guide. At San Francisco's recently expanded Museum of Modern Art, record crowds have been feasting their eyes on the works of contemporary masters like Ellsworth Kelly, Frank Stella, and Andy Warhol. And then feasting themselves on the works of master chefs like Wiley Dufresne and Dominique Ansel. I think this is an idea that seems so obvious once you think about it. Chef Corey Lee reimagined the museum restaurant as another museum gallery. There are a lot of people who kind of stumble in here and they sit down and they're like, what is this? The restaurant called In Situ offers diners signature dishes of some of the world's most celebrated chefs. They open this menu that looks like a museum program and they start seeing dishes from around the world with dates on them and I think it's disorienting for them. Something they didn't expect, but it surprises them. And continues the experience of discovery that they were having in the museum, but with food. Lee is a celebrated chef himself. His three Michelin star restaurant menu is just blocks away. But the 37-year-old does not serve any of his own creations at in situ. I've come to think of Corey as our curator of food. SF MoMA's director, Neil Benezra, chose Lee to design a museum-worthy restaurant. He had a wonderful amount of curiosity about what, what we do, how our curators work, how these pictures come to be on our walls. So I explained to him that if we wanted to do an exhibition of Klaus Oldenburg, our curator would try to identify the best works of art by that artist and try to bring them to our museum. I wanted to do the same thing with food. And so a diner can come in here and try a dish from the chef in Belgium and the chef in Japan, the chef in Hong Kong. They can have this very fun and kind of new experience with food. Chefs from all over the US, Europe, and Asia have visited in situ, teaching the kitchen staff to reproduce their dishes perfectly. When in situ's executive chef Brandon Rogers prepares fresh steamed crab claw, it looks and tastes just as it did when first served at Hong Kong's Phuc Lam Moon back in 1970. We got the exact bowl that they use, prepare it in the same proportions that they serve it. We try to imitate that exactly. He does the same with Chef Thomas Keller's pan-roasted duck breast from the world-renowned French Laundry in California's wine country. The dish was from 1995, so within the first year of, of them opening. Some of the classic dishes served here are no longer on the menus where they originally appeared. And sometimes, the chefs who created them are among the diners here. Alice Waters stopped in to try the Meyer lemon ice cream and sherbet dessert that she first made at her famed Berkeley restaurant, Chez Panisse, more than 25 years ago. It's a ton of pressure. When someone's coming to try the dish that they've entrusted you with, it's kind of a new feeling, but that's part of the fun of doing something new. 